now we are testing as end user go to accounting financial accounting in financial accounting we are testing general ledger accounting so go to general ledger so we are doing a transaction transaction is nothing but entering entering into the system document entry so select this so you can go with f-02 or fb50 so i am just selecting f-02 or i can go to one more screen directly i can enter f-02 anything is fine okay but most of the cases we need to remember master data and transaction data t codes we have to remember for master data and transaction data if you see in your inbox i have given you one two sheets one is transaction codes one is accounting entries these two are most important okay so whenever we complete five steps in master data and transaction data that should be in your mind i'll go to f-02 uh, our scenario is i am purchasing inventory and i am making payment inventory is coming inside payment is going outside that's it very simple scenario so which we do every day in our practical life so today i am purchasing 28.04.2025 b110 is the what is the t code bi 60 60 is the company code in which currency i am buying i am buying in inr currency so inventory purchase i told you 40 is for debit 50 is for credit so debit should be 200 100 this is my inventory account we have already created click enter button how much amount i am purchasing for 15000 rupees okay so text text is nothing but a narration so inventory purchase for rupees inventory purchase inventory purchase is enough if you want whatever you want you can write it next one credit i am purchasing for 15000 rupees i am paying 15000 rupees so credit should be payment so what will be the payment account 230020 we have already created 230020 means it is sbi outgoing account we have created how much amount whatever amount i am buying same amount i am paying so my amount is also same same means i can put star button value date 28 text plus so this is the accounting entry click this accounting entry so verify the accounting entry if it if everything is fine now debit inventory credit sbi bank okay so now just click on post button document has been posted so now go to document display see this is the document and these are all the this is the transaction okay let us see about uh, all these details once again so if i click on header information we have to understand few details here that is document type based on your document type we have done document type configuration based on your document type your document number is getting generated this is the first observation if you are not doing this configuration how will you get this number no right so we are sap consultant we should know this this is the basic concepts okay so without this you may be getting while creating document types you may be getting doubt why we are doing all these transactions what is the purpose now you should able to understand why we are doing so without document type you cannot able to create a document number first one and without document number you cannot do financial transaction so document number is a mandatory in document number there is a in document type there is a document number first one clear somebody ask you what is document type can you able to answer now yeah good that is one thing without company code i cannot do anything so company code is most important we know that okay next one one more posting date so based on your posting date okay 
your posting period and your fiscal year is coming automatically it's coming from posting date so posting date is very important so based on posting date we are creating a posting period and fiscal year so how based on fiscal year variant the period is coming as 01 because we have done a configuration in fiscal year variant in fiscal year variant i told april is my first period so we are in april system is taking as first period in fiscal year variant if i am telling that we are using calendar year then it would have taken fourth here but we are not using calendar year we are using v3 as per v3 one is so april is first period got it like this you have to understand sap if you understand sap like this you are the king in sap that's it okay so once you understand you will never forget so next one we can able to get the user ids okay so you can able to see when you are posting a document user id when uh, this is the backend transaction code we are using f-02 but backend it is taken different code don't worry and entry date we can able to track entry time we can able to track and there are so many things here which we can able to do. Okay. but whatever important thing.